Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Ms Amina Ansari, the Employability Coordinator. Amina, the Muslim Women's Resource Centre in Glasgow. Presiding Officer, Members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for inviting me to address you today. A man that I've never met, never heard speak, never even seen a picture of, yet I love and respect so very dearly, taught me and millions of others to love for my brothers and sisters, Muslim or not Muslim, what I love for myself, to treat others how I want to be treated. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, he said, none of you truly believes until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. What is it that we love for ourselves? Respect, honour, to be understood, valued, to be comfortable and have good things in life. I work with some of the most vulnerable and isolated women in our community, often invisible to the rest of the world. Women that desperately want to be part of our society, want to be valued and respected, want to give their children the opportunities that they've never had in life. How many of us take the same route to work day in, day out, week in, week out? We see the very same faces, the very same people, not knowing their story, not knowing anything about them, not knowing their struggles, because we all have struggles. It's the small acts of kindness that show respect, compassion, and love for one another. Recently, a friend of mine reminded me that giving isn't always monetary. We were passing by a young homeless gentleman sitting in the freezing cold in the pouring rain. I was searching for change and I felt frustrated because I thought I had nothing to give. And at the very same time, my friend had opened her handbag and handed over her lunch and started chatting to this man. The respect and time she gave him was probably more valuable than the actual food. So many passers-by pretending this young gentleman wasn't there. This was not their problem, or perhaps like me, they felt they had nothing to give at that time. Here's the thing, we've all got something to give, even if it's a smile, a hello, a kind gesture, a few minutes of our time. As men and women, in positions of power and influence, I urge you to know the communities that you represent and that you serve. Never forgetting, love for the people what you love for yourself and desire for the people what you desire for yourself. Thank you. Thank you. The next item of business is topical questions. Question one, Alex Johnson.